A stylish unmanned vehicle strolling across the hall is designed by a group of uh, Polish university students. Stunning garments combine style with function. Check out these newly unveiled Prada Axiom space suits for lunar missions. The fashion world of Milan has truly made this hub of space innovation, blending high tech with new fashion. I definitely don't want to miss out on the chance to check out some of the latest and coolest innovations. Let's dive in and explore. Look at this super interactive display here. I'm going to wear this uh, helmet on. I'm not going to play some AI game, but I'm going to try this lunar rover. I'm now navigating over rocks and on even terrain. It's just like I'm right there on the surface of the moon. This lunar rover is expected to be sent to the moon via a commercial lunar mission in the next few years. So we're working with commercial entities as well as there is interest from governmental space agencies if they have, say, a um, instrument that they would like to use for data collection. Humanity's dreams have always soared higher than merely strolling space from afar. We look to step into it ourselves. Check out this modern display with futuristic design. This is a scaled model of a commercial space station, but right behind me is a full-scale one-to-one replica of this house. So compared to the traditional one, this one provides a more resort-like experience. So do you want to check out our Haven One sleep system? In one section of the exhibit, the engineer gave me a taste of what it would be like to spend the night in a space station. Imagine floating in zero gravity, tucked under a cozy blanket. It's as close to the real thing as we can get right now. We welcome all types of visitors on our space station, space tourists, private citizens, uh, astronauts, scientists, researchers, uh, anybody is welcome to join us. But what is essential for long-term space stay in? Fresh food. Here we see innovations in space agriculture with a system designed to cultivate plants in microgravity. The upcoming commercial and touristic space missions have made the needs for cultivation in space more relevant. The exhibition hall showcases not only novelty, but also for one of the most essential elements of space missions, rockets. Latest rocket models from around the world are on full display, with each showcasing its unique brilliance. Look at this huge model of Long March 12, one of China's latest liquid fuel rockets. It's expected to have its maiden launch by the end of this year. Aside from the participating space agencies, most of this year's exhibitors are private companies. All these eye-catching innovations around me clearly show the space economy is growing faster than ever. The world is investing more in the space sector. True, and space doesn't feel so far removed from our daily lives. It becomes no more of a reality that ordinary people like us could think about and feel involved with. Totally, there is still so much left to explore, but it's our last day in Milan. Hope to meet you all at the next IEC. And it's going to be in Sydney. Wulei. Point Chang. CDTN in Milan.